Hello and welcome to video on switch DAX function. This is one of the interesting functions which is now made available in DAX. It saves your efforts of writing complex nested if formulas and also it makes easier to understand the multiple nested if logic inside a formula. Now there are two approaches through which you can use this switch function. There is no difference in the syntax. However, the only difference is using true functions for complex conditional check inside switch. So the first approach here is you will simply want to replace the existing values with the new values. In simple words, what you are looking at in the condition is the first condition might be check whether the value is equal to this, then give me the new value. Else test if the value is equal to this, then give me the new value and so on. Basically, you are looking at for only equal to conditions. So now, if you look at the syntax for the first approach, you would notice that you will be simply referring to a column in the first argument of the switch. Then in the argument at the second, fourth, sixth and so on position, you will specify the original values to be found. So this can be a text values or even numeric values as well. And finally, in the arguments at the third, fifth, seventh and so on positions, you will mention the corresponding values to be displayed. In a way, these original values and new values will be mentioned in pairs. And in the last argument, if nothing is found, what value to be displayed will be mentioned. Now, looking at the second approach, you will be using it only for the complex condition checks where you want to identify or test the conditions in addition to equal to approach like less than, greater than and so on. Now the difference in the syntax or the argument over here in this approach is that in the first argument you will be using true DAX function and not the column name. Now in the argument at the second, fourth, sixth and so on position you will specify the conditions to be tested. So this can be a single condition or can be a multiple conditions using and or functions as well or the symbols also. So if these conditions are satisfied then what value should be given as a result will be mentioned in the arguments at third, fifth, seventh and so on position. Last argument will be for the scenario where none of the conditions is being satisfied. So I hope you now have the clarity about the syntax for this switch functions and difference between these two approaches. So let us now quickly have a look at these two approaches inside our Power BI desktop. Now in previous video we have seen that how to use nested if conditions to get this gender update column or even martial status of the gender. So here you can see that we have used multiple conditions to test and get the new value and here also we have used two nested if conditions. So let us see how we can use switch function to get the similar results. So let us create a new column this time. So this will be gender update using switch. So let us start typing switch. Now here we will be just testing whether the value is equal to. So we will be simply referring to our gender column. And now from the second fourth position we will be giving the values which needs to be found. So this will be m comma what value to be displayed it will be male now in this position if i found f i want to display female and if none of the conditions are satisfied i want to display others that's it and bracket closed so now you can see that we are able to avoid multiple nested if and it becomes very clear what logic is having this nested if conditions so let us press enter and see what results we are getting whether we are getting the same results as nested if conditions. So here you can see that we are getting the exactly the same results using this switch function. So here we have simply used equal to condition to be checked. Now here there are multiple conditions which we have used to identify martial status of gender. So let us see how we can use this inside switch function. So let us create one more column. So let us give this column a name new martial status updated let us increase this so it is become visible properly now we will be using switch now since we have to test multiple conditions i will be using true function that's it 
and now we will be putting our condition to be checked in pairs so this will be and gender is equal to m you can also have greater than less than conditions also to be tested in this condition argument second will be martial status whether it is equal to m what value to be displayed now i want married main so this we have specified let us go to the next row now here i want to test whether gender is equal to f and next will be martial status whether it is equal to m yes so if this condition is satisfied i want to display married woman and if none of these conditions are satisfied i want to display single so this way you can see that it becomes very clear and it is readable to understand the logic of nested if and what conditions are satisfied so let us press enter and see whether we are getting the same results so let us minimize this formula bar and here you can see that we are getting the same results as we are getting using nested if i hope it is now clear to you when to use switch approach with multiple conditions and true function and when to use simple reference to a column so that is it from my side guys see you in next video